Lawrence, it finished Newcastle United nil, Crystal Palace nil, but we've won a penalty shootout. Oh, that was horrible when it came to the penalty shootout. It was always nerve-wracking, especially with our record on shootout and the fact we've obviously lost to Leicester and Burnley in the past uh, four years in the Cup. Um, but it was just a relief to win it and Nick Pope saving uh, two pounds, especially with the World Cup just around the corner. Absolutely, I mean, he, that is why, for me, he should be England's number one for the World Cup. Well, yeah, I mean, Pickford has done one shootouts, but um, on form, it's Pope in goal for me. Yeah, absolutely. I've got to say the performance today was pretty poor and pretty flat today, I've got to admit. Just um, not really the best, but um, there'll, be, there'll definitely be changes made for the um, Chelsea game. I mean, ASM was really frustrating. He didn't, he didn't impress me the day. Shelby did all right, considering it's his first it's start. Target was very rusty the day. Yeah, just uh, players not uh, fully fit, but then uh, they're going to have to probably play games after the World Cup when we've got that loads of games especially we've got one more because of win tonight yeah absolutely um do you think we'll beat chelsea on saturday i think we'll see willick back in there bruno will be back in there trivia back in there botman share and all of them will be back in for uh, saturday can we beat chelsea on saturday and it looks like they're out the cup as well i think we can you know they haven't been so good this season by their standards especially away from home and um, we're doing all right against Chelsea at home, apart from obviously the last couple of seasons. Uh, I think Wilson needs to come back in. Yep. Absolutely. Well, thank you. <laughs> Dean, Newcastle United nil, Crystal Palace nil. It was a really poor performance, but we were all through on a penalty shootout finally this time. Yeah, after last season we got knocked out by Pownies, but at least we finally won a penalty shootout at last. Absolutely, I mean. When oh, I can't believe how Bruno missed that penalty. I don't know what was he thinking. He like did a shuffle, then stopped, and then he hit it, and the ball went too high. It was just calmly, I would say. It's just very calmly. But we have a certain Mr. Nick Pope who gets us through, and that is why he should be England number one for the World Cup. He should. He's put off three great saves. Honestly, the first one, great save from the right hand corner. The second one, straight at the keeper he hit the shot straight at the keeper and the, and the third one keeper went left he went left saved it fantastically i would say definitely he should be number one goalkeeper and if the little arms <laughs> i would say little arms need to top that one it's just wow i would say absolutely it was a pretty poor performance tonight i've got to admit though i hear to say yes i really do because to be honest sec first half Crystal Palace had some chances, had some best chances, but Nick Poff, as he always does, pulled some great saves and all that. We only had one decent chance in the first half, and it was straight to keeper. It was just not good. But second half, we made some changes. It brought Kieran on, Amron, and and um, a few other subs. I think uh, Joe Lynn on. I think it was Joe Lynn did. Yeah, Joe Willick, yes. But. Um, but the one made some had some best chances. Amon came on. He had the best chance of the game. He could have scored, but oh no, it wasn't a performance that we expected. No, but that's the main thing. I mean, that is not our first team, though. I mean, when we take on Chelsea on Saturday, I mean, Bruno's going to be back in the start. Trip here. Um, Willock for me will be in there. Botman will be back in there for me. Hopefully, Wilson will be fine from his illness. Yes, I'm hoping. Uh, Cam Wilson, because he was a big miss for Newcastle. Without him, they wouldn't be scoring many goals that they were now today. But yeah, with all the squads coming back in for the Chelsea game, this one's going to be the big game for them now, because Chelsea have not had a good result late, and plus, and also they lost the cup to Man City in the cup. So we got we got a strong chance. So anything's possible, as they say. I mean, I don't see why we can't beat Chelsea at home. I mean, I think we can. I mean, they're poor at the moment. They're so poor for me at the moment, and they've gone out the cup tonight. And we're through, even though it's on penalties, but we're going to look that as an advantage for us now. I could see us sticking possibly three past them on Saturday. Yes, I would say three or two. If we get a draw, I'm happy with that. doesn't matter if we get a win. But um, all in all, we'll see what happens. And um, let's hope Newcastle and I will get a win against Chelsea. And hopefully, hopefully, because Chelsea have not had good results, even losing to Brighton, that was a big score. But I think we can do it. I believe we can. I believe we can win and all that. But I have 100%. Absolutely. Shaggy, Newcastle 9-0, Crystal Palace 0. Very, 
really bad performance tonight, but we win a penalty shootout for a change, finally. Well, that didn't look like happening when uh, Botman and Bruno oh. missed both their penalties, but I felt like over the course of the game, I mean, it was it was a dead game under for 90 minutes, so it was two sides trying to cancel each other out. Um, we didn't have anywhere near enough uh, chances on, on target to really uh, trouble Crystal Palace. Likewise for Crystal Palace. Um, I felt like there was an opportunity tonight you know, to get through against Crystal Palace. Who, yeah, I mean, they're, they're all right. Um, but we should be, you know, at home, 52,000, or actually 51,000, still a bit the same. Uh, but they should be, um, we should be looking to get through. And uh, we've done it the hard way uh, on, the, on the penalty shootout. Um, and all that matters really is that we're in the hat uh, for the next round. Ab- that is it, absolutely. I mean, Chelsea are out, Arsenal are out, Spurs are out. Um, as well, so be interested to see what we're getting in the next round. Uh, definitely, I mean, I come uh, well, it was good to see that someone won us the game. I said, Mr. Nick Pope, he should be number one for me going in the, into this World Cup. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's been uh, sensational this season. Um, he's pulled off some magnificent saves, like in game and obviously in the penalty shootout. He's proved, you know, what a real. Um, what a real number one he is for England. It potentially, obviously, it depends on how Gareth Southgate goes. Uh, but I believe he's better than Pickford. He's much better than um, than Pickford. Uh, as said, he's better than Ramsdale. Uh, I just feel like he, he had just one of their performances tonight. You know where we needed the most. He was there. To, you know, even to bail out on the penalty shootout, if you like. Um, great signing. You know, from Burnley, a bargain. Um, yeah, I, I said there's not really much I can say about the game because it was it was flat throughout. It just I mean, to be honest, if we if, if we could have taken penalties at half time, I probably would have taken it like an hour earlier. But you know, that's a Carabao Cup. I'm glad there was no extra time because another half an hour of that drab football from both sides. I, I don't think I could take it. Um, but it was good to see out everyone out in um, in numbers to support the team. And I said it, it doesn't matter like how you do it as long as you're through it the next round. And uh, you know, fingers crossed, we can get another home tie. That's what I think we need to try and you know progress to that eventuality, which is Wembley. Absolutely. I mean, we've got Chelsea on Saturday. I can see us winning them. They're out the cup. They're on a really bad run at the moment. We can win that. Yeah, there's an opportunity on Saturday. I, I think um, Eddie will definitely make a lot more changes uh, to that game. Uh, you know, the, the, the side that we're playing up against Southampton, I think, uh, I mean, uh, you, you can tell there was obviously fringe players in there the night. You know, Mancure, not good enough. Yeah. Uh, Lascelles, maybe not good enough. Um, just, just too many, like, slack passes, you know, throughout the whole team tonight. Uh, there was a bit of imbalance. But it'd be good uh, against Chelsea that we see our, our main eleven, and I, I feel like the way Chelsea are playing, but the way we're playing, we've got every every chance to you know to, to put a couple past them. We certainly do. Brilliant. Thank well, you. Thank you. Louis, you Cassie and I are nil. Crystal Palace nil. It was a very poor performance tonight, but we're throwing a penalty shootout. Aye, uh, I had my head in my hands at one point <laughs> during that penalty shootout. Right. Um, overall, the game was. Oh, it was just we weren't switched on today. We weren't. We were very good. We weren't like coming in, coming into this game. I thought oh, everyone was thinking three, four nil. Like after what we've done in the league, but tonight it was we had chances, but we didn't put them away. Like Maxi tried to get some crosses in uh, the first odd fifteen odd minutes. I was like, nah, this is terrible. Uh, we were passing it around the back a lot. Manquillo, I think I counted about 100 times when he passed the ball back. Um, Chris Wood contributed n- really nothing to the game. His penalty was really good, yeah, his though. Penalty, his penalties are brilliant, but please score those in open play. <laughs> please yes. score some goals in open play, because, yeah, your penalties are good, but, you know, we need some goals. Um, penalty shootout, though, Bruno, I don't know what the hell he was he thinking. Have just put his foot through that. Should have put his foot, th- uh, foot through. First time. Exactly, first time. Uh, Botman, um, good save from the goalkeeper. Um, but if them are the penalties that they're going to contribute this season, they're going to have to need some work on those. And uh, if whatever we get tomorrow in the draw, if it's a championship team or it's like Man United or Manchester City, fingers crossed we can get something in the next round. Absolutely well. We had one has got us through, and that's a Mr. Nick Pope. He should be England number one going into this World Cup. Uh, Pickford, to me, is not a very good goalkeeper. Um, you see Everton's position in the league. You see their goal difference as well, compared to our goal difference of plus 14 or something like that. Uh, Nick Pope is statistically the best keeper in the Premier League. Yep. Uh, we've got the best defence. Um, everything's positive. Why not take him to Qatar? Pickford, to me, shouldn't really be anywhere near that England squad. I think there's better goalkeepers around in England compared to Pickford but Pope needs to be on that plane 
Silly does. Chelsea on Saturday. The way they're playing, they're out the cup as well from Man City. We can beat these on Saturday. I believe we really will. Uh, the league forms are very good, of course, if we've been knocked out tonight. Uh, I think we can get something against Chelsea. Um, we're at home as well, three points. Because at the end of this, we'll be top four at the end of Saturday. Uh, if we can get some points, we'll close the gap between City. Um, so I'm hoping we get some um, a point, three points against Chelsea. Um, Graham Potter, is, his squad, squad's not doing a very good job. Aubameyang's not looking very good. Uh, Sterling's fell off from his Manchester City. Um, but yeah, we can definitely get something at City. But we need our stronger. Sorry, Chelsea. We need our strongest lineup out though. Yeah, we'll need the likes of Bruno, Trippier, Wilson, um, in there for me. Willock is another one. Botman, Shea as well. So there you are. Oh well then, brilliant. Archer, Newcastle United nil, Crystal Palace nil. Awful performance tonight, but we're through on a penalty shootout for a change. Yeah, it was an awful performance uh, tonight uh, for both sides, really. Um, but, like, we're just, obviously, we're one on penalties. That's, well, that's, that's the main thing. But, obviously, the whole performance we need from, both, from both sides was just horrific. Could have gone either way. But at least we're through. Could do. I mean, quite a people were rusty there for me. Maxi was one of them. I thought Target was another one at the beginning of the game. Yeah, uh, Target was a bit rusty. Um, he tried, but like like you said, Peter, he, he was a bit rusty because um, we, we haven't seen much of Target this season. Because um, obviously Dan Burns being Dan Burns got pretty much that spot really. So yeah, so. Um, my target hasn't been that great since he's been uh, obviously he's, he had a some like a hamstring injury so at least my manager at least he done okay that's all I can say yeah absolutely I mean I thought when Bruno missed that penalty I thought oh no that was it oh yeah like for God's sake just put your foot through that first time I uh, Bruno like he should have just like Instead of just scouting it, it out with the ball, just placing it, just place it in the uh, right hand corner. So that's all he should have done. Yeah, well. Wood, Joe Linton, uh, definitely on all the rest, showed how it was done as well. Trippier as well. Yeah, it did. Well, at, least, uh, at least Wood, Trippier. Uh, forgotten who else scored. It was Wood, Trippier, and Joel Linton. Uh, so yeah, at least they knew where the bottom end, but the net was. But uh, like, at least we um, scraped through the last sixty, and that's the main thing. Absolutely. Well, someone has taken us through. It's a Mr. Nick Pope. He should be number one goalkeeper for England in the World Cup. Yeah, like Nick Pope's done really well since uh, since we brought him in the summer. Like he's going to be number one choice for the World Cup. Uh, starting for like next week, uh, uh, Southgate's about to pick his uh, 26 man squad, hopefully by the mother. And for me, Nick Pope's got to be one of the goalkeepers alongside maybe Ramsdale. Yep. And he'll pick Pickford as well. He will pick Pickford, but obviously, Ramsdale and uh, Nick Pope will be the ones like. Yep. I mean, of course, Chelsea. See, Knocked out. Who we've got next? But also other teams out. Arsenal out. Yeah, uh, Spurs out. Yep. So some of the top sides are, have gone out yeah. uh, in this tournament already. Uh, but we're glad we had to get uh, win that penalty shootout. We really, really did. And speaking of Chelsea, we've got them this Saturday. I can't see why we can't take all three points against them. I mean, they're playing so poorly at the moment. And look at the way we're on in terms of our league form. I mean, we'll have. Botman in there, Cher in there, Trippi will be in there, Bruno will be in there, Willock for me will be yeah. back in there as well, and Wilson, hopefully, and Miggy as well, will yeah. be in the start. Yeah, like like you said, Peter, I reckon them players will, will be starting by on Saturday, because like, we've got Chelsea, and um, like Chelsea being, just literally being knocked out by Man City, by Man City yeah. Um, and obviously, Chelsea are playing absolutely awful. This season, um, but like, I don't see why not. Like, 
we fear no team whatsoever. We are in a top four spot. Why do why don't we just have a great run? Yeah. Keep 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 winning, yeah. and just hopefully we we'll end up maybe in a Champions League spot. I'm not being. Um, I didn't want to get me hopes up, but Europe. I would happily if we take Europe, but top four. Yes. <laughs> right. Let's go then. Right. Come on then. Oh God, what's he doing? Away the lads! Up the league we go! Up the league we go! Europe! Europe! Champions League football! Never forget! Wembley! 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 <laughs> Order 69, off you, burger! <laughs>